If positive integer x is multiple of 6 and positive integer y is a multiple of 14, is x times y a multiple of 105? So first of all, if x is a multiple of 6, what it means is that it's 6 times some other number, or 2 times 3 times some other number. Those are the prime factors. If y is a multiple of 14, it means it is 14 times another number, which means it's 2 times 7 times another number. Again, those are the prime factors. So we're guaranteed that we have prime factors of 2, 3, and 7 when we multiply x and y together. Well, let's do the prime factorization of 105. 105 is 5 times 21, so that can turn factors to 3 times 7. So 5 equals 3 times 5 times 7. Anything that has a factor of 3 and a factor of 5 and a factor of 7 in it will be a multiple of 105. So currently, looks like we already have the 3 and the 7. What we're missing is the multiple of 5. So statement number one tells us that x is also a multiple of 9. And so that means that x would be, again, in terms of the prime factors, 2 times 3 times another 3. The 3 times 3 would be 9 times some other unknown n. But now if we multiply this x times the y, well, we have 3 is galore. We have 7, but we have no 5. So right now we have no way of knowing whether it would be a multiple of 105 or not. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two, now we forget about statement number one, so we go back to x just being two times three times n1. Now we're told that y is a multiple of 25. So y, in addition to having the factors of two and seven, also has multiples of five. And so now, if we multiply things together, look, we have a multiple of 3, a factor of 3, a factor of 5, and a factor of 7. That's enough to make 105. And so if we multiply these together now, they definitely will be a multiple of 105. So this statement is sufficient. Statement number 1, insufficient. Statement number 2, sufficient. Answer choice B.